like it scared me to death when he first started doing this. He was doing this like when he was 10 years old. It just scared me to death. Um, like I said, I think he'll be a junior next year on senior base. He'll be a junior next year in high school. So double, double thigh fry, got my boots in. Same thing, I'm swinging across and trying to take him down. A lot of times he would start to hook and drive and guys would just hold their base and he would just end up here. And he would get to his bar and then he would just hook their shoulder right here. And then he would just take off running. And then when he got upside down, he would shoot that half in, punch the mat, and get back to this position. Okay? So those guys wanting to hold their base and not get broken down to the mat and be stubborn, ended up getting them on their back real quick. And it almost became an automatic type thing. If you held your base and he got his hook, you were going to your back. You might not have got pinned every time, but man, he put so many kids on his back. Like I said, he was like 10, 11 when he started doing this. Man, it was scaring me to death because I was just waiting for somebody to catch him on his back. As long as he keeps driving with his feet, he stayed in great shape. Okay? So it's going to feel real scary because you're up in the base. And I don't coach a lot of turns from the base. People that try to power half when this guy's in his base, not a great idea. Okay? We'll get high and fall off that guy so much. And then when I show you all a bunch of leg defense tomorrow, it's going to make your leg riding even better because I'm going to show you some real high leg defense, high, high level leg defense. Okay, so again, double five pride right jam, got the boots in, trying to drive him and pick this up. He's just staying tough in his base. Bar, see I'm bringing it back. Elbow always to ribs, bringing it back, punch. Okay, and then he just hooks right here. You're not gonna get a deep pass. And I'm just driving on my toes, just hook, drive, 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 right here. It's just like my low roll half. As soon as I'm upside down, see, half comes in, as soon as I see the mat, Punch the mat, boom, right here. And again, when I get here, even if I don't have the bar and I'm punching the mat, he's gotta break my forearm in half to belly down. Right, <laughs> belly down. He's literally gotta break my forearm. This isn't, this isn't muscle strength right here, this is just my bone. Right, so when I get here, it's the same thing. All the stuff we've been doing with our bars and our stacks, you can let go of the bar and just drop here. Then come back to our, suck his soul out of his body where we did yesterday. Okay, and switch hips back down. Bring my elbows to my ribs, put them away right there. The bar somebody else so you can see it. So again, we're jamming, we're trying to break them down. They're being stubborn in their base. Put them on their back anyways. Okay, double thigh fry jam, swing. Boot in, start to drive, hook here, stay in the base. It's tough in his base. Snatch this elbow back to the ribs. Punch. Like, see, I'm replacing. Punch. And I'm just gonna start driving. Hook here, drive, 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 drive. He has no way to stop it. He has no post. I got tons of momentum. My feet were driving, and I'm in a good spot right here. Let that elbow breathe. Drop that hip in the armpit. Same way we finished yesterday. All right? A lot of options.